something. Is it possible for something to come from absolute nothingness? We don't know what is absolute nothingness. I just define absence of everything. Absence of everything has not been seen. If, have you seen? If, okay, if there was such a thing where there absence of everything, can it then give rise to something? Probably not. Probably not. No. Shall we end this discussion? Because you're not being very logical okay, yourself, I, right? Fine. Right? Unless you come with logic and rationality, the discussion will be totally futile. Why? Because your inferences, your conclusion is going to be as illogical as your stance as you be began with. You have to have a logical foundation of your premise, of your belief. If you have nothing, you say, I believe, you know, I don't exist, and I exist at the same time, then what can I say? You have to logically make some sense. If you come along and say, you know what, I may be a, a brain in a jar, having a dream, then I cannot speak to you and have a meaningful discussion with you. See, Why am I wasting my time saying, with a brain in a jar? See, I'm just saying that the origin, origin of everything, cannot be proved because we haven't reached there. We haven't seen it ourselves. And nothing for absolute, we don't have any proof. Even Big Bang is you know, a theory. You know what you're saying about we don't have enough? Who is we? Who are you representing? I'm just telling we as in humans. As no, we are different. Together. For example, I'm 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 no, I don't, disagree I don't with differentiate. you. I, I, I disagree with you. I because you everything. don't think the way I think and I don't think the way you think. That's so difference of thought, but I'm telling as a okay. general human being, Just one thing. I think you're a human okay. being and I... Um, have you ever used fingerprints? Yeah. Unique. Why is it unique? It's unique. Why? It's, it's unique. <laughs> it is unique. Have you heard of something called randomness? Yes. Yeah. I've heard. So if there is no creator, if there is no designer, if there is no intelligence, you'd expect our fingerprints to be by chance and randomness to be the same, two persons be the same. Why is it different and unique? Is that a logical explanation for the being? I'm asking you to now be rational and tell me. If you believe in randomness. Hmm? Okay, so if DNA. If, if DNA. Have the same fingerprint. Do they? Yeah. Uh, have you seen it? It's studied and, you know, proven. Um, so your I would like to know, I mean, I may be wrong, but I'd like to know. Identical twins have identical fingerprints. So uh, they have identical gen genomes yeah, and genes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Because they're identical twins. So just... They come okay. from one, from one okay. ligand. Totally, um, I, I do apologize for bringing this example. This is totally you know, irrelevant to this point, right? So I apologize. Okay. Identical twins, why do one pair of twins end up homosexual and the other isn't, if people say it's, it's genetic? Because they have you have know, we have well, the our of the chromosomes. people who are homosexual, right? Listen, identical twins, as you say, as you say, they have the same genes, same genomes. Okay, the DNA fingerprinting is the same. So why is one pair of the twin ends up homosexual and not? In Australia, there were thousands of identical twin studies were done, and they showed that both of the twin members, pairs, were not homosexuals. So. Does that prove to you then, as I said, it's an irrelevant point in your discussion, that homosexuality, those who say it's genetic, is actually a myth? No. How does this prove anything? It, it might be, but that in their case, it was uh, through, um, through um, conditioning. But it might be that in so other conditioning cases, is not genetics then, thank you. No, no, but it might be that in other cases it was genetic. There could be different types of If it's genetics, you'd expect them to show a gene controlling homosexual behavior. No, because there might be some people who, are, who become homosexual through social. So that means some, you're saying. And some who don't. Some who are. Th then genetic. you are agreeing with the rest of the people that homosexuality is a social conditioning. No, not I'm saying that genetics. some of it might be and some of it might not be. How is I'm saying that they might be. If there, was, if there were, if you're there were genetic component, then both of the pair of the twins should have the trait. No, since they might both be don't. Then there can, there can be, okay. there can Never be mind. I just brought this along because you're talking about genetics. Yeah. Now, you can, you talking, about, next talking about genetics now, talking about genetics. See, I, so, I, I don't want to die with it. I want to bring this back to the discussion we had, right? We're talking about genes in ourselves. So, our genes, were they programmed by a programmer? 
Or were they came as a result of randomness? Not known to us until now. No programmer. No programmer. No programmer means no intelligence, no designer, no engineer. That means it's a random process. So if it's a random process, our genes should exhibit randomness within the genetic profile, within the genomes. So we should expect in your genes, even though you're homo sapiens sapiens, your fingerprints should be different than mine. By randomness, because there is no programmer. It is different. I'm saying should be the same, sorry. By chance and randomness. Why? Randomness. Because there is no programmer restricting this feature to be unique. So it is random. You have extremely similar, not totally identical, but extremely similar. You see, when we talk about if there are things in random, if I roll a dice, you have the probability of having one, two, three, four, five, or six, right? If you roll a dice, and it's a perfectly normal dice, it's all the six numbers on it, right? And you roll a dice as every time is two. Well, it doesn't matter who picks up, which lab you go to. It's always two. There's a finite number of different fingerprints or a finite number no, no. of types what, of leaves. What we do know is this. If we roll a dice, I want to you know, hammer this example through so we understand it. Resurrect to recreate you as unique uh, as you were in this life. Um, so he's giving us food for thought, thinking about this unique feature. The unique feature means what? There is something that is restricting us. So but it's not restricting because we're, the, the, the dice argument was that they were all the same, huh? and the finger argument is that they're all different. And Why is it all so different and not the same? The opposite argument. Yes, but the, the under principle is the same. If we have randomness, then right. Dice should be one, two, three, four, or five, or six. If you have randomness, my fingerprints could be the same as yours. Same as his. Same as his. But the fact that. The fact that we have all this infinite number of people that we have in forensic science, and it's still different. That means if it was randomness, no engineering involved, then some of the fingerprints should be similar and the same. Because you're saying that it's possible for them to reoccur. Maybe it's not possible for them to reoccur. Why not? There are so many different factors that go into making a fingerprint. So, if it was random, all of these factors can also apply to this gentleman and he has the same fingerprint on mine because it's random, it's possible. When you roll a dice, you're not controlling it. It could be two, I roll it two, he rolls it three, and you roll it, it's three as well, yeah. by random chance. Yeah. Some people believe in it. So, by random chance, you can get two fingerprints the same. But the fact is, they're not the same. I'll think about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we don't shake hands uh, as, uh, as Islam teaches us, uh, as a sign of respect to you. Oh. Okay. But yeah. I can shake my hands with my um, my wife, my mother, my sister, for example. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I cannot shake hands with, an, with a, even a Muslim woman, other than my um, my, my wife, my mom, and so on and so forth. Right? That's okay. Well, okay. have a bow. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Nice talking to you. Okay. My friend, what's your name? My name is Suhail. Suhail. What proof will convince you that there is a creator? Because you are an agnostic, right? What yeah. proof and evidence will convince you? Physical. Um, give me an example of the nature of the physical evidence. God himself. Okay. So if God himself came down here and says, I am God, you would believe, right? Yes. Okay. So now, imagine now this man comes along and says, I am God. And would you believe in it? The man, not a god. So, okay. So, in your view, what does God look like? I don't know. If he has the power to control everything in the universe, and he's doing that already. No, he does it. And Sorry. I know. It's who's born to me? Okay. Who's controlling the universe? Uh, I don't know. I'm telling you, it's God. Give me another option if it's not God. No. Uh, there is. What's the evidence? There's no evidence. Do you know the universe operates in a certain way, within rules and, and positions and complexity and organization and, and design and engineering? You know how the Earth rotates in its axis in a certain angle? You know how the Earth goes around the sun in a certain way? All of these are very precise. We have our physical constants which are precise even to 22 decimal places. That's how precise they are. Why not more than that? Look, do you know how many 20, when we say 27 decimal places, do you know how precise this is? It's precise. When you measure, when you measure, oh, what is I am, the value I am 65 kilos. Value? If you say I am 65.123567 and up to 20 decimal places, very precise. 
I, I like to make conclusions of statements. Okay, I am an engineer myself. So you're telling me that if you have definite knowledge, like if you are concluded that uh, it, the world is so complex, you need to have a creator. I didn't say that. I said the world is organized. The world shows design, and it's clearly obvious. So let me give you some examples. It shows of design. a design. No, no, not shows. And it needs an architect. Wait, wait, wait. It doesn't. It doesn't show. It, there is a design. Let me show you an example. When you cut your hand and you bleed, you keep on bleeding right until all the blood is exhausted from your body, right? Yes. No. False. Wrong. Totally wrong. When you bleed, what happens is there is a system built in. A design which prevents all your blood to leak out by forming a clot. It forms a mesh. It's really a mesh. The fibrin, the fibrinogens, all they come together and forms a real mesh, like with fibers, like this and this, and a clot, so it blocks this leak, this cut. That is a design. WBC. No, that is a that is a design. That is a design. Wait, wait. So how? That is an example of a design. And I am making my statement. How does complexity, no matter how complex it is, I can tell you complex. Do you know about neural networks? How we design neural networks? How methodology of neural networks are? How artificial intelligence is? How signal processing is? How is that? You do that without a designer, right? No, no. I am telling you. I am not making statements that this these are done without a designer. I'm telling that. Do you, you don't, your statement. No, no, you're wrong. You don't need a designer for no, neural see, networks. I agree to logical explanations. I'm asking you. I am saying there is no need for a designer for neural networks and artificial intelligence. Yeah. You don't need a designer to make this design. Because in principle, design can come from without a designer. So I proved your statement. What? Now, what I'm trying to tell is. Do you, you agree just, You just told me that you don't need a designer. Do you agree with that's me? That's your argument. Do you agree with me? No, th that's what you're trying to tell me or. No, I am saying. When you talk about artificial intelligence, neural networks, computer engineering, right? I am saying, now this is my argument to you. You don't need a designer. This design can come by itself without a designer. Do you agree? I disagree. Why do you disagree? It needs a designer. It's complex. Why does it need a designer? Yeah, it's complex. It, it needs a designer. Okay, I agree. No, I don't understand. Why does a complex things need a designer? Okay, because it's complex. Maybe. It doesn't make a sense. If something is a complex, why does it still need a designer? Why can it just be like that? Why can a random chance not make like this? So, I'm, I'm at a loss. Please explain okay. to me, okay. rationally, scientifically, in, through your engineering uh, language, why does complex things and, and I apparently design things need a designer? Why? So, there are no complex things that happen by chance. Please, why very, are you telling me <laughs> that these, uh, this engineering that you're talking about, artificial intelligence and neural networks, why do we need a designer? Why? Sorry? You tell me. I no, no. I am saying we don't need a designer. If you don't agree with me, tell me why. You don't need a designer? No, you don't. You're telling me. I'm telling you in artificial intelligence okay. and neural networks, you don't need a designer. This can come about without a designer, a programmer, an engineer. If you disagree, tell me and educate me why you do need a designer, an engineer, a programmer. So that's your statement. You did you even listen to my statement? Which is my statement. There are complex things in this world. It's not necessary that every things are so complex. You need a designer. So that's what I'm telling you. Neural networks and artificial intelligence I'm, I'm is not necessary. They need a designer. You have a designer. This is what I'm telling you. I things agree with can, you. Things can happen by chance. That's what I'm telling you. Again, I Neural networks and artificial intelligence does not necessarily need a manufacturer, a designer, an engineer, a programmer. Do you accept that? As an engineer, do you accept that? Neural networks needs. No. Yes. They don't necessarily need a designer. It needs. Why did it need? No. no I, tell I, me why. It needs a design. I need to know why they need a design. Neural networks, as in the terminology, was itself made by us. Okay. We have designed it, and it needs a person's involvement. I haven't seen it. Though. You know what? I really haven't seen it. But I, I can say it doesn't need a designer. If you tell me it needs a designer, you need to convince me why it needs a designer. You haven't seen it. I, I, I look, look. I am not an engineer. Right? So I haven't really seen it. The only mathematics that I studied is like in the universities for my science uh, the mathematics that came with it. So because I'm not an engineer, you need to convince no, you need to convince me why it needs a designer. It 
took me at least six months to study the subject. Yeah. So uh, it needs that much time to convince you. I don't understand that. Are you neural networks? Is a are you saying the neural time. networks is so precise, so organized? intrinsic organization and complexity that you cannot have this network without a designer no it needs a designer i'm just telling you it needs a designer yes so if i tell you the universe needs a designer it needs a designer i have studied for 25 years in my life it needs a designer you would accept this argument of course you don't so i would like to know why artificial intelligence no, i never said i don't it could be i am saying could be not, but artificial no intelligence could need a designer, but it doesn't necessarily need one. No, right now, if you go by the definition, if you know what is artificial intelligence and neural networks, it needs a designer. Okay. The, in the artificial by intelligence. By human involvement. Okay. Uh, so so by, so by. Was one second. Listen, listen. Let me let me also complete. Okay. Maybe you can have one minute of my. Explain, please. Take it. Take it. There are take things it. that can come by chance. Like. Like a meteor hitting a planet. It's not by chance. It's not by chance. Everything has a cause. No, no. There is no thing such as a chance. Okay. There is no such thing as a chance. Give you me an example. Find a chance of that red person T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Where is he heading? Yeah. Is it besides? It's not by chance. The There's no such thing as chance. I'll tell you why. The gentleman in the black jacket. Or I'll tell you why. Right. The way he's going, either consciousness or unconsciously, he's making decisions. His decisions are translating from his brain, going to his limbs, his legs, and his log is walking. If his brain did not signal his leg to walk, his leg would not walk. So he's already making this decision. So he's making the decision somehow of the things that he has already. So we call it randomness. There is no such thing as randomness and chance. When you toss a coin, we, uh, let me demonstrate uh, to you. Uh, now, now I will tell you something about what there is no people, such thing as randomness. And there is there, no such why thing there is as chance. Such a thing in something's going to happen or it's not going to happen or it's not between. Do you know something is either going to happen or okay. not happen? So the, it's your chance that there is randomness. The decision has to be made at some point. My, my yes friend. or no? My friend. There's no maybe. Yeah. When we toss a coin, we say the chances are that it lands on a head or a tail is 50-50 because it's two sides, right? Yeah. Do you know why we say this? It's a chance. It's simply because we do not have all the factors in our equation to tell whether it's head or tail by this absolute precision. If I knew every single factor that was involved, let me finish my argument. Let me finish my argument that you understand, right? Because I made this claim. I made this claim there's no such thing as chance. So let me demonstrate to you. If I knew the width of the coin, the, 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 the metal it's made of, the texture, okay? If I knew... Tell me, tell me something that you not, know not definite. So I can prove it to random. I'm explaining it to you. You're telling me there is some other one, some other person who knows coin tossing, which is not randomness, right? Listen, listen. Tell me I am demonstrating to you coin tossing has nothing to do with chance. I will tell you as, I, as I am. Let me, let me give you. No chance by okay. randomness. So now, this coin, one dirham, right? Let's have from experiment. Arab Emirates. Yes. You're from I'm, Emirates? I'm a, yes. If I know the weight, the, the, the weight of this coin, yeah. If I know everything about this matter, the height that's going to fall, mm -hmm. how it's going to bounce in terms of the rebound effect, right? If I know the wind, the temperature, the humidity, I'm giving some examples, right? If I know all those things in my equation, all of the factors, I can guarantee it's going to be head, tail, or on the side with every single time. Why didn't the you fact design that, such a thing? The fact that we do not have... Let's, let's let me finish I, my point, please. The fact that I do not have all the factors at my disposal. So tell me something that you have. Listen. So you don't listen, listen, conclude a statement so with only theory. Listen. See, I'm a scientist. The reason person. why we say it's chance you, you is because... You the process of science, right? The science is observation, experiment, testing. This is testing. Why don't we test? Show me tails 10 times. What you didn't understand is this. I'll say if it's as random. a scientist, if as a scientist. See now, now, see, you, we, we should not divert from topics. 
our our point here we is will come to this you, point you you wanted to prove that there is no such thing as randomness yeah so and you I, that? i can tell that there could be there could not be you know why you know why i have pure evidence of why and why not i can give you instances that there are randomness go ahead tell me what it has nothing to do with randomness <laughs> Okay. No, 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 no. The lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge of wind, force, and everything. All the facts. I can give you because I know this. And how much can you reach? How much can you reach further? Like stars and everything. You know, you know, you know. Exactly. You do you know the motion of the stars and everything? What you're not random getting, my friend, is this. You you cannot be. Can I demonstrate and finish my example? This coin. You can demonstrate and prove me. Listen. How can I prove when I don't have the factors, all the factors? I'm telling you, if I did so have, you you do an experiment oh with all the factors. God. So, listen, listen. Yes, yes, what is the point for speed? I don't know. Can I finish my example? Yes, if, as a scientist, I have all the factors that I need, then we can predict with absolute certainty every single time it's going to be head or tail. Or whatever. Yeah. The fact that we do not have all the factors in our equation at our disposal, we are saying we don't know. We leave it to chance. Chance meaning what? No, 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 the absence no, no, no. of knowledge. You don't have the technology to measure all these things. No, we don't. Yeah. Why we don't is, have all the factors. Why is coin tossing still in the textbook of probability? <laughs> Because you know what we probability, have right? not. Listen. Is known as chance. We have made equations on probabilities. You're telling those mathematical yeah, professors were wrong. probability is a chance that if i'm going here i can be hit by something if i'm causing this toy it can be hit by something with chance when you walk there it's known as chance let's, let's, please look at the dictionary listen okay let's see no 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 you need to understand one thing see you have studied your professor told you but have you really understood what's going on see, see. when we when we walk and something hits us and die it has nothing to do with chance if If I knew all the factors beforehand, then I would if know that yes, the probability of you. If, you, you know, if is considered one of the what ifs are considered one of the random questions. Okay. Anyways, what I point of I'm talking to you, you don't even get it. See, no, I'm what I'm trying to tell is there are random, and I'm proving it to you by test. And I'm a person who believes what is in random? the final test. Okay, what is random? An example again. What is random? Randomness This that you don't it. know the That's exact prediction. That's not random. That is random. Yeah. You know Can when you we predict the exact listen, thing. Listen. When we make a, a, a when we make a software to generate random numbers, it follows a particular law. How to make random numbers? They're not random. It follows a particular law we built within it. Is it? Yes. Of course. You are a software engineer. It does. It can it be unique? Exactly. Can it be unique? Question. What do you mean by unique? The random number generated by your random done random number generation function can it be unique? Depends on the program. Exactly. If you say so it it can be unique. Yes or no? Depending on the program. Can be right. Exactly. No, it's can random. be is no it's not random. Can be, can be is yes based on no the program. Is definite answer. Listen, did you hear what he said? So now, see, no, no, did you hear what he said? I'm a rational person. You're giving the, me rational answers. No, no, to you are not thinking rationally right now. The gentleman said, if I program it to be unique, it will be unique. So it's not random. It's precise. Yeah. It's a precision design. So I have a program that that mentions that my random function is random. So then it's quite specific. So my program it generates let's say one number out of n million. So for the outside observer, it might appear to be random, but the program is not random. It's following a sequence. For the thing is random. So basically, what you're telling is your output is determined. Every tenth iteration of your output, can you determine? It? Can you know what is the exact answer? Let's go one step further. Do you know AES encryption? A that has a key. that you add so the key can be unique each time based on the user right complete randomness <laughs> that's how they were set up okay. it's it's two two software two software engineers discussing about randomness now do you know the It quran do you know the quran is such a book as someone who speaks arabic perhaps is impossible for anyone to imitate because i'm bringing something which you are familiar with 
this Quran. This Quran is such a way. Have you not read the Quran in Arabic? Yeah, right. Is it possible for any thing of this creation to imitate the structure, the surah, the chapter of the Quran? Not really the question. Imitate? You mean copies? Two surahs in Muslim. I didn't get you. There are copies. The Quran talks about that if this book was from other than Allah, then there are certain things you can do to disprove it. Right? One of the thing is, the Quran says, if you don't think it's from Allah, then produce a chapter, a surah like it. Like it. Produce a chapter? A surah like it. The Quran is 114 surahs. Surah is a word, sentence? Surah is a chapter yeah, like this book. Why is it impossible? Is like it. Mm -hmm. Like the structure of this chapter, this surah. There are stories similar in Bible. Not similar. Why can people not bring within this linguistic <laughs> unit the Quran is with its chapters like it? Yeah, there are stories similar in Bible. It's not story. I'm talking about the way how it's structured. So isn't there verses similar in? Uh, it's not about the Torah. meaning. It's not about the meaning. You know, when we talk about language of mathematics, right? When I make an equation, if I say my equation is this and bring an equation like it so and you you do all the equation you, you say there's no way i can match your equation we're talking about this kind of symbols and language and equations the quran has the surah the chapter in this format it's totally unique and it's beyond the capacity of human beings or the jinns or any of the creation to bring something like it like Why? it yeah or better than if you cannot even bring something like it, how can you bring something better than it? So, the Quran is challenges to bring like it. It, depend, it depends on what you like and what you don't like. To give an example, Arabic poetry. There like, are 16. I like Shakespeare's words. Okay. There are Arabic. I like uh, scientific books. I like. To oh, this illustrate, same. illustrate uh, a little bit more in detail. What, what like? This like is similar. It's called liking as in preferring. This like is bring something, same, same construct, using the same language. According to me, what's like is like, that interesting. I smile at the end of the day while reading. That's like. You know, um, Arabic poetry, there are 16 types of Arabic poetry codified. We call them Bihar. Bihar. Rajas, Khafif, Madi, Tawil, and goes on the list. They are defined meters and rhymes. If I say bring something like in the Bahr of Rajas or Al Khafif, you can do that because that's what you need to do. This is Ilm al Arud. People have done that because that's what, how they make poetry. You know how the people do rap, rap, rap music, rap songs, and you can do the similar kind of rap in return? Same fashion. Arabic poetry, within the 16 type of poetry, people can re imitate them. The Quran has its own type of presentation, call it. This is what the Quran says. Bring something like it. Okay. It's not only about sorry, you know, about the science on the it's about the science in the Quran as well. So the Salim and Kajab we try to put the you know something like we fail this. It's not only about the sun, the, the way what they fail then, you know, like Sora with Arut, like Rajas or Tawil or Khafif or something like that. It's not about the it's about the size. Well, the, 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 the contents, the meanings, it's exactly. all included, but I'm just giving him the bare structure because, because he's a programming engineer who understands the framework. This framework is laid very clearly. You need to objectively demonstrate that yes, if it's a human work, not from the creator, you should be able to imitate it. The reason why people cannot imitate it is because the Quran came from God in such a way that cannot be imitated. I the challenge, you know, from once they come at this surah until the end is the challenge. No, and see, open the challenge. Anyone had come can after uh, it's like uh, the same. Uh, it is Jewish book and the Christian book, Bible, right? It doesn't have the same form of the Quran. The Quran, the form. <laughs> like they have similar verses. We are not talking about 
the contents and the stories you said, and the teaching. You said, you said Sura. Uh, I'm talking about the way it's unique. presented. You said it is already there before. You see, I am saying it's the way it's presented. Presented. This presentation of the Quran with the teaching that was already known about God being one to the Jewish community, to the Christian community, but the Quran brings out the pure Tawheed that don't associate partners with him, he has no son or a daughter. It is unique. It has unique verses, right? I just told you that it's already there before it. You, you, you should justify it. You see, I don't think you understand the challenge of the Quran. Even I explained to you in a simple term. The presentation. I'm not getting answered. I just told that it's there. Do you speak Arabic? No, a little, little. Oh, I understand. We're talking about the Arabic Quran, the Arabic language of the Quran is such the way. No, you're telling me. So you need to make conclusions also. You're telling me there is no sentence in the uh, uh, Bible or I don't know the book of Jews the Torah. The Torah so there is no unique sentence I there is no there is no sentence with uh, no. similarity with the Prophet with miracle the miracle I'm going to have to come back I'm just come back I'm just come back the Quran nice talking to you but please reflect agnosticism is just a state it will pass and you will be convinced with certainty that there is a creator you just need to make that step when you see the evidence in front of you I leave it to my brother here who can explain Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vegard and I'm a Norwegian Muslim convert. I'm working with the Dawah organization Islamnet to establish the Deen of Allah here in Norway. We give Dawah and present Islam to the Norwegian people. Isn't that great? To be more efficient in our Dawah, we are establishing a first of its kind Masjid and Dawah Center where we will have Islamic programs, classes, lectures and education for non-Muslims. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. Maybe my mom and dad become Muslim one day thanks to you. If we can establish this center, I could bring my parents to come and learn about Islam in our native language. Which is a challenge today with the mosque here speaking Somali, Arabic and Urdu. The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.